Gas prices hovered around 2.10 in Metro Vancouver today. It's getting high <laughs> and it's, you know, it's pinching on the budget a bit, but you know, we're managing. Henry Ng is trying different tactics to save at the pump. We're going to go on a little road trip to Cultus Lake. Um, so I'm just topping it up a touch and then filling up the rest out there because I know it's a little bit cheaper out there. Um, yeah, hoping to save whatever we can. Cameron Gray is also getting creative. I'm careful about combining my trips. So if I'm do like today, I've got like three things I'm going to do while I'm driving. One of them is get gas. And uh, so I try to combine the trips so I, could, I don't drive up as often. BC has the highest gas prices across the country at an average of $1.94 per liter. The nationwide average is $1.68. Vijay Murlidaran owns a petroleum consulting firm in Calgary and follows gas prices closely. He says there are a number of reasons for the recent increase. A big refinery just went on fire the other day, so that's caused this um, big spurt in pricing. The other issue that's affecting is the the possibility of Hurricane Idia that could come and impact the production uh, and the fear of the hurricane coming in and affecting the production has also made the situation worse. And he says fuel prices impact not just drivers, but everyone. Diesel reached $2.20 per litre, a cost that contributes to inflation. The diesel pricing has increased, that is a big negative impact on, on the economy because it increases price levels and that's sticky and that affects general inflation. Heidi Liu is already feeling the pinch. It's just getting more and more expensive, so yeah. we are trying to reduce um, the car uses. <laughs> My salary is the same, but gas is getting more and more. Merle Duran says prices may pull back as people drive less in the fall, but will likely remain high over the upcoming long weekend. Michelle Gomez, CBC News, Vancouver.